Hey everyone, Dan with Mac Rumors, and in this video we're going to take a look at yet another set of useful Mac apps for the month of April 2018. First up is an app called Daisy Disk, and this app can really help you save a lot of disk space on your hard drive and help you get rid of large files that you probably forgot you had and or no longer need on your computer. The app is clean and simple, and once you give permission to scan your Mac's hard drive, Daisy Disk will show you all of your files and how much space is being taken up. You can then sort through and see what you want to delete and drag them into a little collection area in the bottom left corner of the application. Once you're ready to delete, simply press delete and the files are gone forever. It's really easy to use and can save you from having to purchase extra storage by simply freeing up the storage that you already have. Speaking of disk space and organizing that disk space, Hazel is a great app that can organize random files inside of folders. For example, your downloads folder can accumulate a ton of different file types throughout the course of your Mac's life, and if you aren't on top of it, it might be hard to find specific files. Hazel can create specific rules that send files like pictures, videos, and music to their respective folders on your computer. The amount of detail you can add to these rules is pretty crazy. Hazel can open, archive, tag, and even upload. You can have Hazel rename your files or sort them into subfolders based on name, date, or whatever combination of attributes you choose. Hazel also offers rules and options to help remove files in your trash on a daily, weekly, monthly, or even a yearly basis. Our next app is more of a Swiss army knife for your Mac. iStat Menu is an advanced Mac system monitor for your Mac's menu bar. You can add all sorts of useful information about your Mac at a quick glance to your menu bar, like CPU and GPU information, memory, battery, network, weather, and more. iStat Menus offers robust features like weather with current temperature and weekly overviews, custom notifications, hotkeys to open and close menu dropdowns for quick keyboard access, and more. Shortcut Bar is an incredibly handy app that connects you to the files, folders, apps, web pages, etc. that you need quick access to. As I mentioned before, the app lives in your menu bar and allows you to add in an unlimited number of shortcuts. Whenever you require access to these important files or folders, simply click on the menu bar icon and select the item from the drop-down list. So for example, I added my downloads folder and some web pages that I visit on a frequent basis. By simply clicking on the shortcuts bar star logo and selecting a shortcut like MacRumors.com YouTube page, I'm immediately taken to that web page quickly and easily. You can also create some really useful shortcuts and can definitely help optimize productivity. Our last app is called Station, and it's probably one of the more intriguing applications of the bunch. Station is the so-called first smart workstation for busy people, and the app does a really good job at keeping all of my web applications organized and easy to access. If you really want to keep your digital life minimal, you can essentially use web apps inside of Station and save a lot of space on your computer. Station is a much better alternative than tabs inside of a browser, in my opinion, as Station automatically groups your pages by applications. Now these apps can definitely accumulate on the right-hand toolbar, and even though they look nice and neat, you might not want to hunt through each application to find what you're looking for. Luckily, Station has a fantastic search tool that can find any app, document, calendar, etc. quickly and easily by simply using the dedicated keyboard command and type out what you're looking for. For me, I generally work with Slack, Evernote, Gmail, Calendar, Trello, etc. all open at the same time. That would be a lot of different tabs or even applications to navigate through and have open at one time. Station keeps things simple and easy to work with with all of these web apps opened at once. Speaking of applications, there are over 400 apps available in Station, and so chances are whatever app that you use to get stuff done will be available. I definitely recommend checking out Station, and best part is, it's completely free. So that wraps up our quick look at some useful Mac apps for the month of April 2018. Of course, if there's an app that you want to share with the rest of us, please leave that in the comment section down below, and we might feature it in our next video. This has been Dan with MacRumors, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.